What's up gamers? Welcome back to the channel for your daily dose of good vibes and video games. Today's video is marking the second episode of Tell Me Why, so make sure to check out the last episode since it is the introduction to this amazing story that I am already falling in love with. The characters are so good and I love them and I totally like relate to Allison. She is me. She loves everything space. It wasn't like 90 degrees outside. I would totally cosplay as her because I love her outfit. I love sweaters. That's like what I live in. I just love her so much. I feel like I can really relate. She she seems like a very down to earth character. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I appreciate you. And let's get back into Tell Me Why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Just a side note, if you know anybody who needs a singer for a game or whatever, I'm available. I don't have much going on in my life right now. Just throwing that out there into the universe. Manifesting. Yes. All right. Anyway, like I said before, let's get back into Tell Me Why. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah. Same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. Looking at their outfits is making me sweat. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. This is a lie. Doesn't seem real. To haunted. All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine. Broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. <laughs> Straight up evil. Energy hog. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sam, Robert, Texas for winter. Oh, they went to Texas. Brooks, too expensive. Tessa? Ooh, this place needs some serious cleaning. Or an exorcist. Ooh. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. I just noticed the wallpaper too. Interesting. Oh, um, are these authentic? Are these authentic, Clinket? I doubt it. I'm surprised Marianne would buy fakes. 20 years ago, everyone was buying fakes. And then every single time I see a camera, I think, I think Max. I think of Mac. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. A good scrub and we'll be rid of that too. I don't know if that's a good thing. Okay. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. <laughs> After all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. Hmm. Work it. Not a total disaster, Ronan. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is, then. So Tyler and Allison, but that's the second, I think that's the second time he's mentioned the name Ronan, which I think he called Allison that, but maybe it was mentioned. I don't, I don't remember what that name, like what's the significance of the name Ronan? Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. Oh no, 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 no. Handmade soap. Still here after 10 years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. <laughs> oh man, we even got, what is it, 10 year old laundry? I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. Go check this part out, is this the kitchen? Ooh.
Oh, everybody's got a junk drawer. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. Not when we broke them. I love fixing things. Was she fixed herself? No. I love fixing things. I love fixing things too. Header installs, swapping cams. Uh, those are car things, right? No, those are hot rod things. Well, keep up the car talk and you'll fit right in around here. What else? What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Hmm. Yes, that plant is super dead. Best mom. Best mom. You think we ever really believed that? Or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. Aw. I don't know Marianne yet, but... Best mom, sponsored by the local goblins. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah, you'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker. Nut, mint, Lex. <gasps> oh, that looks like an Aussie. That looks like a Chihuahua? And that, what's, what are those called? Those Boston Terriers? I think. I like to think I know my dog breeds. Don't know if I do though. Okay, so nothing else there. Ooh, living room. Whoa! Wait a sec. Forget I have to hold it down. Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me too. True, but it felt personal with me. Wonder if the mom had something else like going on that maybe they didn't even understand really. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here with big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah, Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. Quiet times, we used our voice. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. And Marianne was none the wiser. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing. But you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. Oh, okay. I think that was their last name. Okay, so Ronan was their last name. Totally forgot. I thought that was some sort of nickname or something. Ah, makes sense now. I must have missed that somewhere. I'm sure that was like on a label or like a like a letter that we read. The more you know. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like she had to document every second of our lives. Okay. Oh, made her smile. Kind of annoying. Want to want to keep some of these? You can keep some of them. If you want. No thanks. I mean, I like the photos of us, but I don't think I can forget that she was the one aiming the camera. 
Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. <laughs> she saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. Interesting, like, what did she do? Because she, you know, she documented a lot. She kept so much. But I don't know enough about their, like, true relationship yet. Uh, I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. She seemed really Maybe artsy. they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. That's what I think. That was my first thought. Ooh, I love reading stuff. Oh. Graph paper. A sec. Oh, no! Okay. Read. Hey mom, we're sorry we, we the face got broke. We didn't know you love it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time we will try and use good judgment. <laughs> good judgment. Please forgive us for doing bad things. S sad face. I'm sorry too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we make you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I will tell Ollie not to be wild at all the time. We aren't going to do it anymore. We're so sorry. Okay. What are you reading? Our apology letter. A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. <sighs> Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. We were, in a way. Cool. When she came over, do you think so? <sighs> we were. Just not like she thought. You think she knew we were sharing answers? We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. Oh, another way their superpower is like OP. She pinched every penny. All right, Maybe we can go upstairs now. Where is the stairs? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't think we checked if we could go into this room or not. Marianne's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. I like the I like the door. Whoa, every kid's dream loft. Oh, what's this? What? I can't interact with it? Okay. Alright. Before we go into any rooms, let's... <laughs> let's check every nook and cranny out here. Sup, this? Yo! What are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? Plotting world domination. Uh, yes. Uh, you know, just plotting world domination. Ah, oh, that's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. I'll be up in a second. I didn't even think to look up. Hmm. Huh. This is such a cool area. Where'd you come from? Read, what is this? A Tale of Two Swords. Thought that was like Guardians of the Galaxy or something. Okay. Let's go in. So they shared a room. Of course they had a bunk bed. Oh, that's a big room. Now this, this feels like home. It literally looks like somebody's been living there for the past 10 years. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. What? Nothing wrong with group thinky teamwork. The city of love. How did you convince me to let you put this up? 
It was my favorite movie back then. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. I'd rather you called him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass about it. Oh, our space content. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? <gasps> All these stories. Oh, I had here ideas we go. for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Here's the main thing every don't nod game, a journal. Read. Ah, uh, where is it? No, 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 no. You looking for something in particular? Frog earns the right to speak. The bear and the princess. The beaver fixes the house. The princess's party. The goblins in the ice cave. The princess and the two. So I'm assuming, I don't know who the frog is yet, but I think each animal symbolizes somebody in the game. So I don't know who the frog is yet. Don't know who the bear is yet. I think the princess is Marianne. The goblins are clearly the twins. I don't know who the beaver is yet. Moon hag. Who be the moon hag? Interesting. Cool. I do always like, it's like the symbolism in all their games. Whoa, okay, so we got like a bunch of short stories that I'm sure are just parts of their life that they made into short stories. I could make this like a whole separate video in itself, just like sit here and do like an audiobook read through of all these things. My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Aww. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Wait, let's leave here? Or... Oh. Mom? This is going to be a big memory. Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? <sighs> what now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. There it is. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. Why? For what reason? I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. It's interesting playing this game as Tyler, like, to kind of experience it from the person's point of view, like, going through that is like, wow, I didn't even think about that until just now. 
Tyler, do you copy? If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? Ksh, copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. <laughs> the Mad Hunter. Ugh, he still gives me the creeps. I wish I could forget about him. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. Uh -huh. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Wait, like, HBO, HBO, like the streaming service? They were trying to watch some Game of Thrones, yes. Wait, examine. Board games were better, though. Yup. What is this? Figure out who gets who goes first with rock, paper, scissors with silent voice. Roll the dice and move the number you roll. Pay to, the tra pay to the tramway lady to climb up or down the mountain. Take the lug to slide down. Oh, the luge. Take the luge to slide down the mountain. If you get a one, you get to roll again. If you get a one again, pick a motor card to climb up the mountain with a luge. If you roll a six, become the mad hunter for two turns. Save from shoot. It was like their version of shoots and ladders. If you roll a three, become a bear for three turns. Can't use tramway or luge in any direction. Look, it's the game we made, Luge and Tramway. Ha! Huh. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. That's funny. Hey, you. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better days. Turn. Ooh. It's got Allison oh, tattooed on it. This butt. one wasn't mine. I knew you should have taken the other one with you. This is it. This is like really interesting for me too. Like this is such a good game that really connects with me on a personal level because like my brother, well, my brother mainly, that was like his thing growing up, but he had this stuffed moose growing up like all throughout his childhood, like even into his teenage years. Like that was just, that's so moose, a moose is a big symbol for me. Reminds me of my brother. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? Uh, we barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Ooh, hello Allison and Ollie. We're ready from the past. What is it like in the future? Anyway, Juno is super cool. We took the tramway all the way up. Ollie was scared. Liar! We got some books, but Mommy went to the restaurant at night and forgot them. It was cool. There were a lot of whales on the ferry. No, there wasn't. They were in the water, stupid. Anyway, here's a postcard to remind you how awesome we are. Especially me. A and O, Allison and Ollie Ronan. 12 Cannery Road, Dallas Crossing. So I think we gotta go check Marianne's room now. Hmm? Not quite. The Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, <laughs> well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. 
Whenever they say the word goblins, I think what of the labyrinth too. The image my favorite on the door. Movies. It's making me think of a story from the book, one that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the book of goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. Oh my gosh, oh, I have to do the hard work. I need, I need some help, yes. I, uh, need some help. I've got a few ideas. Okay, where do we start? The Book of Goblins. Let's read the story about the princess's party. Okay. Which one is that one? Is that the one that we just did? No, it's not. Princess's party. The bear and the princess. There it is. Ah, I keep pressing the wrong button. Put the cue right next to the tab. Once upon a time in a deep and ancient forest, the princess was melancholy because it was the one year anniversary of when she had run away from home. Sensing her sadness, her forest friends showed up at her door. They were headed by the pelican, pious and attentive and organized by the moose, stalwart and farsighted. The old bear was there in his claws so sharp as well as the big frog prattling away, even the haughty muskrat who mostly came out at night. Maybe that's the thing that I can't tell what it is. Um, the bear invited her to ride on his back, promising no wolf would carry her path, and then the animals led her to a fairy glen, where a fabulous party had been prepared. There was a buffet of seafood the pelican had served from her never-emptying beak. The air was filled with winking fairy lights. The moose had arranged after clouds filled the sky, and the gregarious frog mixed up fizzing drinks. Only the muskrat had done nothing in particular, mooching off everyone else's hard work. <laughs> Princess had a very good time at her party, such a good time that she forgot to say thank you to any of her friends. Noticing this, the fairies devised a bit of a, mis a bit of mischief. When the princess went to open her gifts, she found three identical boxes at the edge of the glen. Puzzled, she turned back and gasped. The entire party had vanished. Because you had taken your friends for granted, called the naughty fairies, we have hidden them from you. But we like games. Guess who's given you each of these presents and you'll get your friends back. The princess opened the first box. Inside there was a torch, which, when lit, revealed the truth. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark, and that I always see right from wrong. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? Wait. Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark, and that I always see right from wrong. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? She opened the second box. Inside there was a magic word, sword, which would leap right out of the bear's hands to defend them. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I am protected if I'm ever under threat. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? She opened the third box. Inside there was a bag of coins and always provided money if there was something the bear truly needed. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I am hungry and clothes when I am cold. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? The princess thought about her friends, and then she smiled certainly. Fairies, she said. I may have been thoughtless, but I appreciate that all my friends have given to me, what all of my friends have given to me, and all that they have done for me. She gave her answers, and the vexed fairies were forced to restore the party in a flash of colorful light. One by one, she gave the animals a hug and thanked them for the presents, the party, and all they had done to help since she had moved into the forest. And that's how the princess celebrated her first anniversary in the woods. Okay, there was a torch when lit. So there is a torch. Magic sword, torch sword, and money, coins. Okay, let's see. Are they holding things? Are the little creatures holding things? Does not look like it. Hmm... Torch. The only thing that's holding something is the... this thing. 
huh. I'm confused. Would have a torch. I feel like the muskrat, if it only comes out at night, would have a torch. And then a sword. Who would have a sword? They did not make this very obvious. I will give them that. They did read that whole thing. And there was no other clues that I got from that. You think you're any closer to an answer? No. The torch, which when lit, reveals the truth. Hmm. Wait! Reveals... Reveal the truth. Right from wrong! Wait a second! Okay, 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 okay! Wait a second. She opened the second box. Magic sword. Which would leap right into the bear's hands to defend them. Frog. Okay, okay, okay. My god, I, I, I'm gonna, my pea brain's gonna forget this. Hold on. So we know the second one's the frog. Okay. She opened the third box. Inside there was a bag of coins. Someone wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I am hungry and clothes when I'm cold. Which is my friend? Wait. There was a bag of coins that always provided money if it was for something the bear, tr the bear truly needed. To buy food when I'm hungry and clothes when I am cold. Okay, so which friend would do that? Stalwart, which means like loyal. Pious, which is devoutly religious and attentive. So maybe, maybe Pelican. Um, and then. Oh, even though it came out at night, had come. Old bear, claws so sharp. I don't really, I don't really know what the word prattling means either. Talk at length in a foolish. Oh, okay. I think I did actually kind of know what that means. But leaping, so trustworthiness, so maybe the moose, wait. Maybe then it's the last one would be the moose. So let's try pelican. Yeah, this is a hard riddle. I really want to get it myself though. I think I just took the entire video to, like, try to get... You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together... Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I, want, I don't want to look it up. I definitely think the middle one is the frog, though. Oh! You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. I don't care anymore. Wait, did we actually break it or did we get it? Should have just done that. You guys know what the combination was and you stuck through it until you got it let me know let me know i want to know so much for the fairy tale mood whatever we're not 10 anymore she spent so much time making those elaborate games and worlds for us yeah enough that she lost her grip on reality <laughs> We should start looking. I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Mm -hmm. Let's check our memories. 
Where is it? Oh! I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Oh, they used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I don't like feel bad for I've her had in a way. so much on my plate lately, and and they're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why. I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this. As if she's still here. It's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? Ugh. Sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. I'm sure she needed the help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix a torn seam. Ha ha ha. Dude, I feel like sew sewing is such a good skill to have. Hmm. I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't the author go insane or something? No wonder Miriam liked it. Timeless Sea by Stephen Orchard. Straight in the trash? No. I bet we could sell it on the internet. That's cute. True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. <laughs> she and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. What? Judgment over a walk. Ooh, let's look in here. I really it's like- It's here. Oh, they found it. I really like that they take the time to actually make the animation of them pulling out the drawer instead of just like, ooh, the drawer's open. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. She needs a book on that stuff. You know, just love and acceptance. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. What? Look. Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad at I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. I'm kind of confused. But I feel like it all makes sense later. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. Is that how they felt? Like, like I'm kind of confused, and I feel like they're confused, and I feel like I that's think I normal. Need some air. <laughs> My dog's barking now. Toby's also confused.
that is where we're gonna stop now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if you're just as confused as I am, but if you've already played this, you already know what's going on. What was the code to get in there without breaking? Even though it didn't really look like we broke in, didn't look like anything was damaged, so I just spent like all that time and didn't actually ever end up solving the puzzle. Even though I am ultimately convinced that the middle one is the frog, I just didn't know which was the first and the and the last one so if you guys were able to solve it i'm not gonna google it thank you guys so much again for watching i really hope you guys are enjoying this series so far i know i am thank you so much for subscribing and for liking the video it helps the channel a ton and is so appreciated hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next episode of tell me why bye